What's up, everyone? Here to do Hajimeno Evo Rising episode three, and this week's episode was definitely uh, a lot slower paced than what uh, we just came from in last week's episode, and um, it wasn't a horrible episode just because we don't get like I don't know that um girl stuff in Hajime no Ippo but so I guess it's not that bad but I will say this it was really funny and I like how they compared it to like a boxing ring like they were competing I thought it was really funny but um we find out that Itaki's sister I mean we knew she kind of had some interest but we find out that she's pretty damn interested in Ippo and she like comes over first and then when Kumi comes in it was interesting because Itagi's sister was trying to kiss him while he was asleep or because he's hurt from the fight still and he's been sleeping for a while and Kumi like comes in she's like what are you doing and like she kind of goes off with him and Itagi's sister's like who are you and she was like I'm I'm just a friend and it was just so funny because like she just felt like she was obligated but I don't know I just thought it was really interesting and then we have the reporter Mari come in and Kumi's the only one that isn't looking and she just like makes up some excuses she's like well I'm a nurse you guys should leave and then they're like no <laughs> and uh also just mari said something interesting which is very true about each uh ipo's character she says that um there she does a lot of reports uh with him and she's up close to him all the time and uh just know there's ipo the boxer and there's ipo the man which is i thought it was interesting because it definitely is true and um <laughs> while they're yelling and arguing ipo's mother comes in and she just talks about pretty much how she doesn't really uh, like Ippo to fight, but he just loves it so much. She couldn't tell him no because he wakes up and does it every single day again. And she just says she's not really proud of the muscles, but she definitely is proud of the good man that he is, which we all know Ippo is a really good guy. And uh, after that, we just have Ippo waking up. And it's just somebody, he was like, uh, his buddy was like, yeah, yeah, you missed a good fight. And he was like, whoa, who won, knockout? And he was like, no. So after that, um, we have uh, Ippo getting up, and he's just thinking about how it's Takamaru's title defense and Aoki's first shot at the title. And um, like I said before, like some people might not like it, but I like Aoki, Kimura, Takamaru. Like, I like everybody from the gym, Itagi. Like, I just like everybody, I, so I don't mind watching any of their fights, but, um, so, he gets to the gym, and, oh my gosh, Aoki, he is messing up already, he, he, <laughs> I thought it was so funny, Ipo was like, wait a minute, did we get a new skinny guy in the gym, and he was like, oh, welcome back, and, oh my gosh, Madhouse, their, <laughs> their animation is so detailed, because it just reminded me of when Takamura last season, you know, was having weight issues, but yeah, Aoki is also, and he's super duper skinny, and they're like, oh man, he is screwed and stuff, and they're just worried about him, and they, th they don't think he can do it because he's so messed up, but um, he comes in the next day, also Ippo, and then Aoki is fat, so he's messing up his weight, and he always just keeps saying, oh, well, I'm a veteran. I, I'll get my weight up by then. And we're like, they're like, oh my gosh, you are so screwed. But um, then we go into the office with Epo, and we find out the reason why the Dempsey roll, which I thought was very important, why the Dempsey roll can be stopped. And it's because it has a rhythm to it. So, like, for example, like if you have a clock that goes like tick tock, like it's easy to counter because you can anticipate when it's coming because he has a rhythm when he does it so i thought that was really interesting and that's one of the other things i really love about this series how tactical these fights are like they just aren't like straight up brawls like don't get me wrong you get straight up brawls too especially like last ep last week's episode but for the most part like everything is usually strategical so another thing that he talks to the coach about is that um he will improve, but he will win just because he has great people supporting him. And he's talking about everybody from the gym. And he says he's not going to stop. Or he's not, yeah, he's going to keep going until he reaches his goal. And I thought that was a cool moment. Because it just definitely shows, like, how much Epo has changed. Like, Epo used to be so, like, 
Uh, like, he didn't have any confidence at all. And it's just, like, really cool to see him with a lot of confidence now. And he's definitely developed. And I like that a lot about this series. But um, after that, we have, like, everybody besides Aoki out running. And they're just asking, like, Kimara, what, it, what are his chances? And they say he's 6-4. to four, And he says, yeah, like, I want him to win. But <laughs> he's conflicted because then everybody almost will pass him. And he's just kind of conflicted about that. But... Yeah, he just jokes around and says he doesn't want him to win, but they can obviously tell he's worried about Aoki. And um, after that, we go over to Aoki, and he's at the ramen shop, and he's just talking to some people, and they're talking about Ippo. And when he gets off his shift, he just kind of thinks about, like, how they've, how, like, uh, Takamaru's way surpassed him, and that's, like, almost an unreachable goal, and how Ippo passed him, but he's kind of not surprised he has. And he's just really worried about the fight. Like, he's just thinking, like, 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 oh, I'm going to win. I, but the champ is strong. Like, he's just really, really worried. But then I just liked how Kimura just takes him out. And he takes him on a bike ride. And he's riding super fast. to get his. It seems like to get his mind off of things and help him feel a little better. But, um... After that, I thought it was also interesting how, like, it's funny. Like, I think this series is so funny, by the way. Like, I don't know if you've seen more reviews. I think this is so funny. Like, the comedy in this show is, like, top tier is really good like i really like it i think it could be very interesting at times and they they just have some funny jokes man like some really funny jokes but also uh before aoki like does his way in or whatever uh he asked kamara to call him sir and he like talks about how he's unconfident before and like it was a serious conversation and he's like oh by the way if i win I want you to call me sir and then they get like back to themselves and they're arguing again or whatever but after that we we go over to the weigh-in and he, like the episode ends off with Aoki with his pants off and the current champ just walks in and it was just a really awkward moment but um yeah that's was the episode it was honestly fairly simple in my opinion uh, but I guess it was interesting because we're seeing some things we don't usually get from the series. And when you get to see things that, like, you don't normally, uh, yeah, like, Aoki finally getting his shine and, like, his own fight. And I figure it should be a good fight. And we also get, like, all the girls acting that way towards Ippo. And, yeah, it was interesting just because it was different. It was something that we usually don't get from this series. So I didn't think it was that bad, but... Let me know what you guys think, and that's all I have. Thanks.